This is a typical low cost scale using chip on board technology. It's a Gemini 20 milligram scale which has been modified for measurement capture. The microprocessor has been built into the unit and the USB connection which is used for data transmission and to supply power to both the scale and the microprocessor. No more batteries. To allow additional functionality within the capture system, connection has been made to three of the four front panel switches, but this modification does not alter how the scale responds to their use. To access the capture system, you'll need software to monitor the data, and possibly write it to a file. For this, I'm using PuTTY, a free open source program which is quite capable. Communications is done by a simple serial protocol at a speed of 57600 with the common 8N1 configuration. Using whichever COM ports assigned by your computer, for me it's COM9. But you can also save to a file with a customizable name that can contain the date and the time, which is what I have done here. The file is created when you open the session window and data is written to it during the session. When first powered on, the capture system is in the idle state and a one-off message shows you how to toggle verbose messages on and off. The default is off. In the idle state, the scale operates as it did in the unmodified scale, where the tear and mode buttons can be used freely. The scale will also shut down after about 64 seconds of inactivity, which is rather inconvenient for data logging. This inactivity timer can be reset by a changing weight of at least 10 milligrams over a short time, or by pressing the mode button. Since weight change is an unreliable trigger, the mode button is used in a carefully timed sequence to ensure the scale does not turn off during logging. When the on button is pressed again, the capture system becomes active and enters the setup state. The first thing that it does is run the keep alive sequence, which you can see down here. The sequence is set to run every 60 seconds. It should be noted that the units will always settle to grams. This has been chosen since it offers the best resolution and also minimal impact on reading variations due to the Keep Alive sequence. Details of this are available in the documentation. You'll notice the default interval is 1 second and the default period is 10 minutes. These can be altered, but for now I'll just use these. Pressing the ON button from here takes us into the ready state. Here you have the opportunity to prepare the sample and tear the scale as needed to set the starting point. When ready, pressing the ON button again starts the sampling routine. At the beginning of a run, the system uptime will give you the elapsed time since the scale was first turned on. Each sample line will contain the elapsed time since the start of the run, the weight and the unit, which will always be in grams. In addition, you may find an asterisk this indicates there has been an internal conversion that may create a variation of plus or minus one least significant digit. This is due to the Keep Alive sequence. A more detailed explanation can be found in the documentation. When the sampling routine is running, pressing the ON button again to terminate the sampling and return you to the setup state. Now let's try a real exercise. Using the 1 second and 10 minute settings, we'll go to the ready state. So I'll take my tray, the medium, set on the scale, tear that. And then I'll take my medium, I'm just going to spray it with some isopropyl alcohol. Place that on there, and now we can see we have a starting weight of just the alcohol. Press the start button and off we go. You can see the system has been running for 3 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm starting off with 191 milligrams 
of isopropyl alcohol and I'll let this run until the time is finished. So for the now we'll just let this go and we'll pick it up in a little while. As you can see, we're coming up to the end of the period. The weight's dropped down to 33 milligrams, so a fair bit's evaporated. And we've got one second samples to show how it's progressed. So there's our 10 minutes, one is complete, and we're back into the setup routine. And that is as simple as it gets. You then go and have a look at the um, log file and you'll see all that information. But what we'll just do at the moment is to show you the other features. When we're in the setup mode, select the tear button and we can change our interval. We've got choices of 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 30. In 60 seconds, then we cycle back to the one. The chip on you select is what will be carried through. Press the tear again, and we go to our period, which is 10 minutes, 20, 30, 60, 90, 120, 180, or if you don't know how long you want to run for, there's a continuous where you actually need to do the manual termination to stop the run. Well, this will just keep on running. Again, next step, we'll cycle back to the 10. The tear button takes you back up to the top setup, where you can then go to the ready state and to the run. For verbose messages, you hold down the tear button and press the on button. The target verbose is on, and now we get our messages with a whole lot more information. Press off, it says the scale is off. Press on, we're back into the idle mode. It tells you again, more details. And we go into the setup mode, and so it continues. And that's basically how it all works.